Do you buy Manscaped products? If you do, be sure to check out code SHOTO20 for 20% off. And just remember, your balls will thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shouldn't of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat mobile video, and I'd like to thank John Shenburn for cutting grass in the background. I don't really care, because I want to make a video for you guys. So today's video, we're going to be talking about the Reaper's End gear item. So what makes this gear item really useful is the fact that it has a chance to apply curse on combo ender and a chance for unblockable on basic attacks. This is super useful. Although for some reason I've seen it happen where spears appear to be blocked and it actually connects. We'll see if we can duplicate this. If it's anything like classic scorpion pulling people in over 90%. But critical hit chance boost also amazing. You don't need that for this gear to be good. So you get a massive damage boost in Tower of Horror. You get a really good health boost in the weapon slot. I really praise Tower of Horror by the way even though it's a reskinned uh, Shao Kahn's tower. I really praise this event because it introduces some of the funnest gear in the game. Now granted you can buy this gear for real money, you can also farm Tower Horror and get the gear for free. So in fight number 135 we have Elder God Kenshi, Covert Ops Cassie K, Shuri Ryu, Takeda. I found it Enraged to be one of the most challenging uh, modifiers. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Now let's get in Infernal Scorpion. You can see the massive damage that he's able to put out. We are using the Bone Claw and Witch's Ward as well. We probably should not have tried blocking. Because we'll just take damage. Alright, so there's a spear that appeared to be blocked and it went through. Alright, so there's Kogonov's Cast in case. That's going to do decent damage to Scorpion. There's a block. And you can see, again, it went through the block. So I'm not sure how that calculates, but you can use Reaper's End kind of like block breaking specials. Even though you're only supposed to be able to do basic attacks, I have a feeling that it works on all attacks. I don't know if this is a bug, but even without it, it's still a really good gear item. Now, you guys have seen me clear Tower 200 with an unupgraded Reaper's End. Uh, yeah, it's a great gear item for plowing through enemies, and it's great for the fights where you only have one because it's going to give you a lot more survivability. Having health in a weapon slot, and even without the Tower of Horror bonuses, there's no shame in using gear with unblockable on basic attacks, and even curse on combiners just to do more damage to your opponent. There you saw a block breaker on Kentaro. And yeah, that's useful for extra damage. Here we're going to block. Kentaro's gone. Piercing Melina comes in. We're going to spear her down. That's going to hit for 37,000. I've had spears crit for over 100,000 using Reaper's End. So, Kenshi does get to a bar. Let's throw off another spear. He does block it. And once again, there's a 130,000 damage spear. Through a block, Elder God Kenshi gets decimated by Reaper's End. So again, I don't know if this is a bug, but I have a feeling there's a secret thing with Reaper's End that either if you hit over 90%, you're going to block break, or there's something else behind it. I'm not sure. It's pretty dang cool. Alright, so next up in Tower 137, again, this is another scenario where having the Tower of Horror gear is great because you have Witch's Ward... It gives you a massive health boost and a toughness boost and high resistance to fire, which you probably don't want that mechanic with Mortal Kombat 11 Jade because you actually want to gain power and health. But I think it works just fine. The Bone Claw also gives a health boost. So you can see that even a Fusion 6 Infernal Scorpion damage is going to tickle off him since he probably has over 100,000 health. So we could be tagging in and out between Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion and Infernal Scorpion, but the point of this video is to show off represent. So there's the more damage from critical hits. Right, Scorpion do a little fire damage. I really like Hanzo Hazaki Scorpion's combo. There was another block breaker. That one was not blocked. Hits for 38,000. We got a lethal shot there. Down he goes. 
Alright, so let's see if we can test this block theory. There's a block. Yep. I'm really wondering if that's how it works. I'm gonna block the special one. Alright, so let's try it again. He does not block that one. Yes, I have a feeling there's a hidden block breaker component with Reaper's End. If you hit over 90%, we have a couple more fights to test this, but I have a feeling that there is a hidden block breaker modifier in Reaper's End. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky and it's hitting the unblockable chance, but I have a feeling there's a hidden modifier with Reaper's End. I don't know if it's a bug. Uh, Netherrealm can use this video kind of as a guide to uh, decipher if that is the actual case. But let's see. So the next fight, we have a dampening fight. These are not as bad as Enraged. We do want to take out Raven's Molina as soon as possible. We do have to deal with Aftershock Trevor as well, but that'll probably pull Jade in. So you can see Reapers and 20,000 damage on a basic hit using lethal attacks with the Reapers end. All right, so we're nearing a bar. Let's not get off a block broken attack. That one is not blocked. So Vengeful Shinnok takes a 57,000 damage hit. There's the weakest link in the Jade. Stun gets resisted because I put the Gladiator Mask on her. Just to deal with Dark after Liu Kang a little bit better when we deal with him. So there is Scorpion about to block after Shock Tremor from doing special. He did hit 90% and he's burning under a bar. So Scorpion doing some work. See if we can get to one bar. Right, Scorpion's at one bar. That one is not blocked. So we're not going to worry about hitting 90% damage and get rid of him for the victory in our next fight. So yeah. There's the Oshtag Warrior Tribe. Now we can also throw this gear on Jade if we want to. You probably want to just use her gear item. But let's put all the Tower of Horror gear on Jade. This might not be the fight to do it. Let's actually do it in the next fight. I don't want to do it in a regeneration fight. I want to do it in a fight where the modifier isn't ridiculous. Because you want Infernal Scorpion to do massive damage on these guys. Yes, this regeneration is not as bad as Shao Kahn's tower. But you need to wipe these guys out quickly before they can tag. And Scorpion does a great job of that. There goes Nightmare Freddy Krueger. Thunder God Raiden's in. Takes the spear for half, over half his health. He's going to get obliterated. Luckily, we don't get stunned blocking there. Shuri Ryu Takeda about to get mauled. There was the block breaker again, leading into an unblockable for 129,000 damage. Shuri Ryu Takeda eliminated for the victory in our fifth test fight with the Reapers. At, and we're well plowing done. through these quickly. And there is Fujin's Blessing. So there is visual proof that you can get this card gone from console links. So, very cool to see that live. Alright, so now that we have enemy specials unblockable, let's actually swap out the gear on Jade. You can see the gear I was using on Jade. We're going to throw on the Reaper's End. We're going to throw on the Witch's Ward. And we're going to put on the... I might actually just put on the uh, Meat Cleaver. I think that's better. Alright, so Meat's Cleaver gives you a decent damage boost and a 22% critical hit chance boost. Great for lethal, and I think that's better than the one gear. But again, we're running a test here, so we're going to use this with Jade, and we're going to see how much better she gets with that gear. You can see her stats are pretty low because she's only Fusion 1, to my knowledge, if a Fusion at all. 7,000 damage on a lethal shot, and there's the more damage from critical hit. You can see the damage that is getting put out. And Jade is really good. There was a 10,000 hit with basic attack, so yeah. Even the Moral Cop 11 Jade doing good damage. I heard somebody struggling in one of my live streams the other day. Somebody was struggling on Tower 50. That grab is going to miss, unfortunately. You can see the damage that Moral Cop 18,000 damage on Elite. Now, she doesn't have her Bojitsu staff, so she's going to have less damage. But you can see how useful it is. We're going to go the Face Smash on Aaron Black. And yes, my team is very stun heavy. That's going to hit for 26,000. And yeah, you can use this gear and Jiggle just clean house. No questions asked. And we're going to get a classic Melina. That's actually really good. That'll take her up to Fusion 3. That's a really good pull from the Tower of Horror 
20 fights. So I believe we're at like 140 now, or are we at 121? We're at 141. All right, so let's take off Inferno Scorpion for this next fight. So power generates at a slower rate. I don't really care about that. Um, let's throw in, I think Cobra's cat, uh, let's get somebody a little weaker. Ah, Black Dragon Cabal, let's throw him in. We can really utilize his four gear slots. So, if you have a Fusion 1 Cabal, alright, let's throw on the Bone Claw. Let's throw on Witch's Ward. And let's throw on Meat Clue. Do I have any other gear that does damage? I have the Demon Eye at Fusion 5. That is 65% damage. That's actually more damage. Yeah, that's actually better. Let's put the Demon Die on. That does more damage. We have the Death Rattle as well for uh, crit chance reduction and health boost. That's more of a defensive gear item. Uh, we can also filter sort by newest. We did get Freddy's Glove, Moracho's Flask, Bladed Whips. Uh, we also have a Hellfire Blade. That's probably going to be more damage yet. So let's actually throw the Hellfire Blade on. Now let's see how much Cabal is going to wreck people. So let's do this for a test. We have Classic Goro, who's annoying as hell. We have Kenshi, who can be annoying if he gets knockout. Now I'm confident that more Kevin 11 Scorpion can clean house if Cabal can't get the job done. But I want to show him off a little bit. Look at the burn damage from more Kevin 11 Scorpion. So you can see Cabal doing some work there. Right, let's get Scorpion and just get a burn, and we're gonna spear Classic Goro just for fresh him from doing a special. As you can see, even without gear. Okay, there he blocks. The blades look sweet when they don't get blocked, as it's a crippling blow. You can see that uh, Black Dragon Cabal doing damage. You can see how weak he is, and he's still doing some decent work. Alright, Cabal not pointed a bar. Let's see if we can get that unblocked shot. I want to see the uh, crippling blow for you guys. There's the spear. Unfortunately, block. Goro comes back in. We got a block. The Shokin Slam is a block right here. Might be in a little bit of trouble here. Scorpion not quite eliminated. We need to get him out. We might need him. Alright, so there's another block. Goro's about to go down. Wow, Goro doing some work. We might actually lose this fight. Cabal almost goes down. Alright, so that's actually good. Ninjutsu Scorpion comes in. I kind of want to block him from tagging out because Kenshi is actually kind of low too. I'd love to eliminate him. That's going to hit for 11,000. Now keep in mind, Jade does not have any gear on right now, so this might be a little bit harder. Right, there's the block tagging. Let's see if we can get that crippling blow now. Yes, we can, most definitely. So we're going to fire it off. Get rid of Ninjutsu Scorpion in style. That looks amazing. He's going to go down. Elder God Kenshi comes in. We have to be a little bit careful. So we need to disable him. The first one is blocked. It does put him under two bars, but we need to get him out. There's a spear a little bit early. It does connect, so he's going to be able to get disabled. And that's exactly what we need. So there's Goro. The Meat Cleaver finishes him off for the victory. So even if you have a weak Elder God... Or, uh, Cabal. Outstanding. You can still do work with Black Dragon Cabal. I don't know why I said Elder God Cabal at first. But there you have it. How good is Reaper's End? If these fights haven't shown you that Reaper's End is a great gear item. Now, granted, I have other gear items combined. Granted, Diamonds do have the advantage of having a fourth gear item. But look at how weak Cabal was. Cabal has 8,000 damage and 10,000 health, and he was actually holding his own in Tower 141. So if you like this video, showing off the unblockable gear item, Reaper's End, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat mobile videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show, my Instagram, which is Hollywood Channel's God. Please leave a comment down below how strong your Reaper's End is, or just tell me about how strong your other gear items are. Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!